Well, the short answer is he can. There has been an investigation by the Met Police. The Prime Minister has been to the House of Commons. He's apologised, humbly apologised. He's accepted the lessons that need to be learned from the Sue Gray's report. He's implemented most of the recommendations and he has not misled the House of Commons. So, yes, absolutely the Prime Minister can survive. How concerned are you, though, that Conservative MPs continue to call for him to resign? I mean, how much trouble do you think he really is facing? Look, 180 MPs are what would be needed to, to secure a vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister. That is never going to happen. Well, I think it's disappointing, but, you know, for the country at a general election, elected Boris Johnson as Prime Minister with an 83 majority, he has the confidence of the country. I think there's a concerted effort um, to attempt to remove the Prime Minister for, for a number of reasons, but I do think it's disappointing. I think everybody should get behind the Prime Minister. Um, people don't vote for divided parties. They want to get behind the Prime Minister and help us to continue to deliver, getting the big issues right, the vaccine programme, Brexit and all of those the calls that the Prime Minister gets right, they need to get behind him and help him continue to deliver.